Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Harry Potter, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle, and some Power Rangers. But before we... Look at the set itself. We're going to look at our Power Rangers first and then the box. First on the list, we got the Time Force Blue Ranger. Because, man, I got this from Still City Con, and I'm like a huge fan of Power Rangers. So I got the Time Force Blue Ranger. Why not? Racing through another time. Draw the morphers are online. Time was wonders, fire and thunder, all to save the world. Go, go, time force, time, time, time for Power Rangers, time force, time, time, time for Power Rangers, time force, time for, time force. And yeah, I couldn't help singing the song, and we're going to look at the year this figure came out in. Because these figures do show the year they came out in. I'm going to have to look off to the side because, man, this is hard to read. 2000. Wow. This figure is from the 2000s. So this is a really old figure, huh? Next, we got another Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And this is from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie Red Ranger. Because, man, I love this figure. And this is from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, which is a fast food toy figure. Next on the Power Rangers list, we got Zio Gold Ranger. No oh, danger, he's for real. You know when lightning strikes, it's Gold Ranger. And I couldn't help that song. He does have a bit of a gimmick because he's an old figure. I don't have his weapons, the weapons for these figures, because they're old. But now we're going to look at the year he came out in. And somebody wrote on his foot. So I got to guess he's from the same, the uh, 1993 Power Rangers series, because he's really old. And given they wrote on his foot, which is really a shame, really. Well, that's all there is to say for the Power Rangers figures we're reviewing today. Next, we're going to look at the box for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And this is a big, huge box. I'm going to have to back up just to show how big this box is. See how big it is? It holds a lot of figures. And definitely, you can put a lot of figures and play sets into this castle. It'll look very nice on the toy shelf. You get the great hall and all the figures you can put in the castle. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And I love this set. It's probably my new favorite set now. And I'm going to try to get more figures for this castle. But that's the front of the box and all the accessories included. And now we're going to look at the back of the box. Ooh, this is a big box. Get the outside of the castle, which looks very accurate to the movies, which is pretty cool. And the other play sets you can add on to this castle for more Harry Potter fun. And you're probably wondering, why did I pick this up? Well, I loved Harry Potter when I was a kid. No, I will always be a fan of Harry Potter, hands down. But now we're done with that box. Let's look at the set itself. We're going to look at each level. Let's start with the first level. We got the uh, Moni Myrtle's bathroom down here. We got a cave troll Lego minifigure from my vintage Lego Harry Potter stuff. I don't have the sets for those anymore, but I do have the figures. Why not? We got a figure of good old Hermione, because what's Harry Potter without her? Huh. You open this, you get uh, Modi Myrtle in her stall over here. We got the thing they use to create the uh, Polyjuice Potion. We can put that there. 
Why not? Say, why not? I lost the cat mask that would have gone over Hermione's face. We got a Lego minifigure Professor Snape there as well, because why not? Let's look at the rest of the castle. We got the first level here and the stairs leading into the castle. But there's a gimmick. If you turn on the switch, the whole thing lights up. So I'm going to go flip the switch on this castle. I have to feel for that switch. So just give me a second. And the castle lights up. Ain't that cool? And the Great Hall skylight lights up, just like in the movie. Ain't that cool? They added that level of detail. We got the uh, bed for the students to go to sleep in. Let's put Hermione in the bed for that comparison's sake. But yeah, she's pretty big, so you got to put them at an angle like this. So you can kind of get them in the bed, sort of. We got a couch. We got another fireplace in there. Another chair up here. And the pictures above. You're probably wondering why they display it like this. Well, it's just easier to find everything. Why not? There I say, why not? Of course, we got Dumbledore's chair in the Great Hall right there. The chair he will sit in once I get a figure of Dumbledore for this shelf. We got the sorting hat, which we can put on a figure if we want and have them sorted into the houses. And you'd be like, Gryffindor, the sorting hat can say, Gryffindor. Uh, and this one can go like uh, Gryffindor, or Hufflepuff, or Slytherin, or uh, Ravenclaw. But yeah, that's a nice detail they put into this hat so you can get off the sorting hat sorting you into your houses. I put a table for Dumbledore to sit at because once I get the figure, he's going to need, need a place to sit at. So here we got the uh, table for Dumbledore, which I just recycled this from my Goodwill outlet toy haul. So I just recycled this table for the sake of the castle. And we got a Ronald Weasley from my minifigure, Lego Harry Potter minifigure. Why not? I have to have figures of everything in this, in this play set, so I'll mix them up from time to time. We got the Great Hall table, which is well detailed and well designed. And you've got stickers for the food that goes on the table so they can be like eaten at their table or something. The level of detail and artwork in this particular playset are far beyond my expectations of this playset. But next, we're going to look at Hedwig, which we got with the uh, Harry Potter figure in the three-pack. So, is a Wizarding World of Harry Potter playset worth adding to your collection if you're a Harry Potter fan like I am? Yes, I have been a fan since I was, for, when I was a kid, when the first Harry Potter came out. These figures are worth the money, and this playset is worth the money. If you can get it for 20 bucks, like I did, pick it up. You won't regret it. But before we end this video, we're going to show the front of the castle. Because I want to make that conclusive, so you can see the nice front of the castle. So, let's rotate this around. Like so. And it looks like the castle, just like in the movie, which is awesome. And I'm so glad to have this for my collection. I'm so happy to have a Harry Potter castle that looks accurate. And that's all there is to say for this video. And I'm hoping you enjoyed this throwback to Harry Potter from my childhood. And this newer grade Hogwarts castle. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.